So OTAs were a bust. But if there was one silver lining of it, can you think of one? If it was Any one... silver linings from the last three weeks? Yeah, the new quarterback didn't get hurt. Well, yeah, he didn't get hurt. But also the fact that he got reps in 7-on-7 seven and seven, 11-on-11s yeah. 11 helps him. I mean, it was at the expense of a lot of other players. But Trey Lance got to play in Kyle Shanahan's offense in like a training camp setting, which can only help his development. It came at a serious cost, but it was good for him. I got other things. Yes. Jimmy seemed competitive. Jimmy Absolutely. is going to fight for that job. And yes. I think he served notice. Yes. yes. So um, in that regard, I'm saying that was a success as well. Jimmy yes. came out to play. Yes. I got more. I mean, I'm not saying that these players are less important than other players, but at least they didn't lose any of their core players for the year. And maybe the fact that they shut down now means that they've learned their lesson and they're going to change something and prevent more of these things from happening. Maybe, maybe they're going to make an issue. Maybe they're going to make a change right now. Well, there's going to be a press conference tomorrow. You can ask those questions. Absolutely. Yes. I want to say Iggy press conference tomorrow. What do you think are some relevant questions for Kyle? It's Kyle Shanahan, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think are yeah. some uh, relevant questions? What are you doing differently than the rest of the league that makes this a constant issue? Seems fair to me. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? You seem to get players hurt early. Yeah. Um, when there's, you know, maybe they shouldn't be getting hurt because you're losing them for games. Why? Yeah. Why? And okay, then I follow up with yeah. the other, the rest of the league doesn't seem to get them hurt at your, at the level that you do at the rate. Why? What do you need to do differently? That's the third. Okay, here's the thing. If John Lynch were doing this press conference, he would um, not be defensive. He would say, use, you, use your name. He would say, Lowell, that's a really good question. Uh, we're looking into it. That's a fair question. I, I don't know if he would answer it, but he wouldn't be defensive. Do you think Kyle will be defensive tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. For the reason that he knows that he's in the crosshairs. Yeah. Yes, and he'll he be doesn't defensive. really have a good answer. He'll be defensive. And if yeah. you ask him questions, he'll parse your words. Well, how do you know? Have you done that? Have you ran the numbers? Right. Is it true? Da, 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 da. Man, don't quibble with me. Reassure the fans because they're just they're just as uh, you know, they're just like us. They have the same questions we have. We're just passing it on, man. We're not creating an issue out of nothing. You know, a question you can't ask, but I think you raised. They they would have been better if they did nothing than had the OTAs. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but you can't ask that question. Yes. And I want to tell you something else about Shanahan. Iggy, and, and people bear with me because I think about personalities. Iggy, does he ever do a press conference not wearing a hat? Ooh. Oh, man. I'm sure I could find examples of it, but rarely. He generally wears a hat. Yeah. With a bill that comes yeah. like this. I want to say it's not a confident look. Oh God. When a person, let's call it a baseball cap. Yeah. When a person comes to a, a, a meeting like that. Yeah. And he's wearing a baseball cap. Yeah. You can't see the forehead and there's a shadow over the eyes. Mm -hmm. So it's a form of almost hiding. Yes. It's a form of hiding. Yes. And my question is, what the hell are you hiding from? Because yeah. in his answers, he'll be hiding. Yes. He'll be trying to quibble with you and yeah. put it back on you. And his look is hiding. Yeah. He sounds like a man who's afraid of a lot of things. You know who else was also extremely defensive? The most defensive coach, Chip Kelly. Anytime you what? ask him a question, he wouldn't answer it. He'd be like, well, this part of your question is wrong. And this part of your question is wrong. Chip, you can quibble with the wording of my question all you want, but that doesn't change the fact that you've lost 13 games in a row. So why don't you answer my freaking question? Now, Kyle hasn't lost 13 games in a row, but sometimes he bugs me that way. It's like, man, you know what I'm talking about. Don't put this back on me. You're the head coach. You're the guy who's getting the guys hurt. Answer it, man. Reassure the fans. Don't just try to, like, one-up me or make me look bad because you're not going to. I agree. 
Alex Martis says, fan, it's exhausting to be on the hypercritical train 365. It's not my job to hold Shanahan accountable. As a fan, I just want to love my team. All right. Well, we're stopping you. you love them. Yeah. You love them, baby. You love them like they've never been loved before. Hold on. We got two more and then we and then we'll get back to whatever we wanted to talk about, which I don't know what it is. We'll see. Hold on. I'm J Rico 85 says off topic, but why is no one talking about 44? We lose 10 TDs with no Wilson, but what about juice? Will he serve more impact? Yeah. Good call. Maybe they'll actually use Kyle use for the first time in five years. That'd be a great one. I support it. 